How many dinner plates did this person buy? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Sunday night. It's been a long weekend, a very long weekend. And let me tell you, Etsy was absolutely on fire, absolutely on fire this weekend. We sold a ton of stuff on Etsy. Um, we had one person buy, I believe it was like eight items, maybe something like long, like something like that. So we also went to a church sale and you guys are going to see more on that church sale coming up this week. Um, but I thought that this one particular sale would have been a great opportunity to show you guys how to do something. So <laughs> I got a notification and the notification said that a buyer had purchased six items on Etsy. And I said, oh Lord, here we go. So then I'm like, oh, somebody ordered a Liberty Blue dinner plate. And then I look and I said, how many dinner plates did this person buy? Turns out they bought six dinner plates. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to show you guys how to pack multiple dinner plates in one box and do it nice and, well, let me not say nice and easy, but do it so that you don't have to worry about them plates breaking and it doesn't take you too much time and you don't have to do any crazy sort of double boxes or anything like that. So stay tuned. We're going to take you guys over to the shipping station and we're going to pack up some plates. See you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here we are. This is what's sold. These are uh liberty blue dinner plates if you guys ever find this stuff definitely worth picking up if you can get it at a really good price they don't sell for a lot of money but the entire set does have some pieces that sell for really good money um definitely worth picking up so like i said this person ordered six of these dinner plates uh and we're gonna go ahead and pack these up for you and show you how we do it so generally first thing i want to do is i want to test and see if I can get fit two plates on one piece of paper. Uh, it's going to be kind of tight. So we're going to do, we'll do one piece, one plate per paper. So quick, we're going to wrap it up with the packing paper. So tape that up, put that aside. There's another one. Three. So this is going to provide the first layer of protection for these plates. And there is four. six of our plates wrapped in paper here now we're gonna see small bubble wrap okay obviously we're not gonna be able to get one plate onto onto one sheet so we're gonna use two sheets of bubble wrap so there's one plate two plates Three plates, four plates, five plates, and six plates. All right. So I'm going to take the first one and pull this a little bit closer to us. Make sure you guys can see that okay. There we go. All right, 
And make sure we're nice and centered here. All right, first plate is done. Now what we'll do is, is we'll, you know, make sure these edges are good. We're gonna get to the corners on the next step, but we do wanna tape these sides closed. So there's one right there. Second plate. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be live on Whatnot September 30th. If you guys haven't bookmarked that show, make sure you guys bookmark that. You can find a link in the description below. We're going to be selling all types of insane pieces of glass. You guys are going to be able to get absolutely awesome deals. Everything's going to start at $1. We're going to be giving away a ton of cool glass pieces. We're gonna start loading that up on Wednesday. So if you guys tune in on Wednesday and check in on the whatnot auction, you should be able to go ahead and start getting some pre-bids in on those. So as you guys can see right now, we're just working through the second layer of protection on these plates, which is small bubble wrap. We've already added paper to all of them. My back is killing me right now. It's been a long weekend. <clears throat> All right. Got one more plate to go. All right. Last plate. crooked and make sure we get the edges here all right all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to alternate the plates okay so this is your first this is your oh yeah yeah i can't see it all right this is your first plate okay so we have that like that, okay? And we're gonna do that. 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 And then we're gonna do that, okay? So now what we're gonna do is, got all those plates there. We're gonna tape all these down. All right, take this first one, go all the way down. We're gonna go on this side. We're gonna go all the way down, okay. Now we're gonna go this side. And we're gonna go all the way down. Now we're gonna go this side. Go all the way down. These all the way down. These all the way down. Two more angles right here. All the way down. And all the way down. Alright. So now you got all your plates small bubble wrapped into one giant piece. All right. So there's paper in between these. There's bubble wrap in between these. So there is nice layers of protection originally. Now, obviously the big key, which allows me to be able to use this technique is the big bubble wrap that we use. If you guys haven't seen me use this big bubble wrap, this is literally the best bubble wrap in the world. Okay, cannot pop, this This is not popping right here. You know, this is not like bubble wrap like this sort of bubble where you pop it, you know. 
So this will not pop. All right. So that gives me a lot of leadway with being able to use this technique. If you guys are interested in this bubble wrap, it is a little bit pricey, but trust me, it is absolutely worth it uh, in the long haul. Protects your items extremely well. It's better than having to deal with broken items or having to, you know, have to use double boxes. Then your shipping cost goes up a little bit. So it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Okay. So I just kind of took a bunch off. What's really good is, is obviously you want to take these off because you don't want that gap where the two, the perforate, uh, you know, where you do the rip. Because if you have that gap there, there's going to be no protection. So what I do is, is I take these and I, I, I break them into the single sheets like you see me use before if I'm wrapping something small. And so we're going to kind of measure out. We're probably going to go three across. Uh, yeah, we'll probably go three across. Now this is always going to be a little bit different depending on the item, obviously. So what I might do is I might just go four across and we'll probably do two on the bottom and then we'll probably have to do one on each side. The goal is hopefully to be able to get this into a 12 by 12, into a priority box, 12 by 12. Um, but obviously we're going to have to wait and see if that works. So what I'm going to show you guys next is how we connect these together. So what, basically what I do is I just line them up like that. I take a piece of tape. And you can see that it's taped right there. And I just tape it to this side right here. Now you've got one piece with no gap in between. It's important though to make sure you tape both sides. So that when you wrap it around the item. It doesn't create any space. And we got one more. All right. All right. So there we go. Now we have nice sheet right there. We're going to take our plates and drop it right on that now i'm going to take this piece fold it over take this piece fold it over all right so we're probably going to need two on top it looks like Two on top will do the trick. And then we'll need one for each end. Goes right there. Alright. All right. Once again, we don't want to take the two pieces, tape them together. So now you got your, your base there. Now what we'll probably do is we'll probably close up these ends a little bit here. Just to make it a little bit easier for the this piece to go on. We'll flip it over. We'll take that. And put it right there. Now, sometimes you might be able to get away with, you know, just depending on the shape of the item, just being able to, you know, not have to do something on the sides. 
Obviously, it depends. Every item is a little bit different. All right. And then you guys can see right here. Gonna try to take that up. And that up. All right. So now we're gonna take these single pieces and we're gonna close up these sides. Make sure those sides have protection as well. side is all done right there now we're gonna do this side And there we go. Now, sometimes you will see this happen. Okay, now it gets caught up on the tape. And a row might go limp. I think that's the best way for me to describe it. So this row definitely went limp. Now, I could probably get away with that being like how it is. But, because as you can see, it's still... You know, there's no weight there, but I'm a perfectionist. So what I'll do is I, sometimes you get sheets that have missing bubble. Okay. So what you can do is, is I can just cut a single row. So now I have just one row of it. This is from my scrap bag. And I'll just cover up where that bubble went limp. Now see, most people would have probably just edited that out, but you guys, this is what we're here for. We're here to show you the ins and outs. And sometimes that happens from sharp objects, the tape, me pulling it too tight, things like that. So it is possible to happen. It doesn't pop. It's just the, seared, the sealed air somewhere along the line gets a hole and it goes limp. But ah, look at that. Oh, man down. You can see how heavy these plates are just by that. But basically what I was doing was just showing you how... Ay, ay, ay. Look at that. All right, we're good, guys. One of these days when we get in the shed, you guys are going to have like a real setup so you guys can really see like from different angles how we do this. But you can see this thing is secure for sound. You hear it right there. All right, so now we're gonna see 
Are we going to be able to get this in a 12 by 12 box? I think we are, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go get a box. All right. So here we have a large priority box. And... Get this bad boy taped up. Don't forget the closure. Taping the closure of the box is one of the most important things that people do not take into consideration. One piece of tape down the middle to close a box is never enough. You should always tape off every single closure area on a box okay all right so now we got our box now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this box with newspaper so that we create a nest for our I'll raise this a little bit for everybody there we go so we can create a nest for our plates okay Now, especially when you have a heavy item like this, you're going to want to make sure that you have a, a really good base as far as paper goes. You don't want anything to get too heavy, so you want to have a nice, strong, padded base there, okay? Then, I'm going to put this... Baby down in there, all right. It is a little tight, but because of the amount of bubble, the type of bubble that I have, there's still space obviously for me to put paper around there to create uh, like a nest. But you see the space between the actual plate and how far the bubble goes. See all that space right there? That's extra space too. Now, you have to be careful when you're doing this sort of packing. You want to make sure that you have enough space between the item and the edges of the boxes. And you'll see when I finish that I am able to have that sort of space. And I create that space with the newspaper. And we make sure we go around all four edges. We'll do this a couple of times. More. Oh, man down. I do apologize for all the man downs. So, as you can see now, paper surrounding all edges of the box. And then we'll obviously do that a couple of times until we get to the top. Right. Make 
sure we got enough cushion so that this thing does not move when it is shaking and in transit. We are all secure. Every angle is important. Now I know you guys have heard me talk about this part before. Now obviously, listen, that's just nothing but foam and paper most important closure in a box especially a box like this is this corner piece right here okay there's a lot of weight in this box obviously nothing is shaking in that box but that is the one you want to make sure you get taped so that nothing can burst at the seams and that ladies and gentlemen is six dinner plates packed to perfection in a large priority box and done fairly quickly. Obviously, it's a little bit longer because I'm explaining as I'm going, but you see, good to go, ladies and gentlemen. All set. Hopefully, if you guys like this video, I want to thank you guys for watching this. I'm a little tired, out of breath. Don't forget, we got videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, make sure you guys are checking us out on the Reseller Information Network live on Tuesday mornings. And most importantly right now, keep an eye out because Wednesday we're going to start loading items into the Whatnot Show, which will be September 30th. That's this upcoming Saturday. Everything starts at $1. It's going to be so much fun. Thank you guys for all the love and support. If you guys haven't already, make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell. Hit the thumbs up. Share the video. Let's have some fun. Let's learn. Let's laugh. We want to thank you guys as always. Stay classy, YouTube. Peace.